the architect has the obligation to, number one, make sufficient income to support the architect and his or her family. Number two, he has the responsibility to the sometimes conflicting requirements of serving the client. And number three, to the sometimes preceding and competing interest of serving the public. And number four, he has the responsibility to have devotion to the art of architecture. The second and third are actually outlined in the AIA or AIBC Code of Ethics, and not all of these points are equal. If there is a conflict between any of these points, you have to put the client's interests over your own, and you have to put the public's interests over yours or the client's. 